What a wonderful sound, isn't it? Many of you probably love it as much as I do and would like to hear it more frequently. So let's do a magic find character. I'll start from the beginning, which is the choice of the skill we will use and our ascendancy. I decided to go with Caustic Arrow, which would be our primary skill, and Toxic Rain, which we would use for additional damage against a single target. Many of you might be surprised by my choice, because your expected skills would be Lightning Arrow or Tornado Shot. But I wanted to try Caustic Arrow because I think it's a pretty good skill with good potential. Besides on YouTube already has enough videos about Lightning Arrow and Tornado Shot, so maybe you'll be interested to look at the alternative. As for the Ascendancy, I chose Pathfinder instead of the more common Dead Eye. Because I want to try it after the developers slightly redesigned it. Also, flasks will be an important part of my magic find gear, so I think Pathfinder is the obvious choice for me. Also, if my idea doesn't work, I can always easily switch to something more classic, so I have a backup plan. But I hope I don't need it. For leveling, I use Toxic Rain and Caustic Arrow combined with Mana Forged Arrows. Using these two skills, I got through X pretty quickly, and it was a nice and smooth experience. Wow! First valuable loot, and we haven't even started using our magic fine gear yet. No Tink. Unlucky. Unbelievable. Our first Divine Orb. Now I can definitely make a new video about some one Divine Orb challenge. It looks like Chris Wilson himself blessed my build and for some reason I have a feeling that there will be a lot of lucky drops to come. Well then, we've completed the axe and now we can go on a treasure hunt. But before that, we will need new gear and more levels. At first I thought I would keep playing with Toxic Rain to level up my character and only after level 80 I will switch to Magic Find Gear. But then I changed my mind because I thought it would be better to start with MF. To show you what a low level MF is and maybe in the process I will find a couple of divine orbs. So let's go shopping. For starters, we're definitely going to need Headhunter. Okay, I'm kidding. Because the main idea of this series of videos is to show the progress of the character, so you know what you need and what awaits you at each stage. So to start with I'll try to spend as little currency as possible to make the starting build as cheap as possible and at the same time not to lose too much efficiency. Let's buy two rings Venter's Gamble. They can be pretty expensive, but for starters we'll take the budget version with 9% increased quantity of items found and 40% increased rarity of items found and some good res. Next we need a helmet with increased rarity of items found and an open suffix so we can make a benchcraft additional increased rarity of items found. And our first serious craft. We need these implicit modifiers. I was able to get them pretty quickly, but I got lucky. So be prepared for this phase to cost you more currency than I did. Now we need a bow, but since we're on a limited budget, we'll make some scuffed weapon. We take the cheapest six link and use Essence of Dread. Then we make a Benchcraft Chaos Damage Over Time Multiplier. Damn, that's a bad bow, but let's see what it can do. Now let's pick up a quiver. I think one with chaos resistance, life and damage over time multiplier is perfect for us. Enlightened support is a must for us, because without it we can't activate all our auras. We'll also need a medium cluster with brood for potency and spiked concoction. As for the amulet, we need it to have at least 10% increased quantity of items found. Buying something as cheap as possible. Another scuffed item. I think that the build will be just the fire. And the last buy is Abyss Jewel with phasing on kill. Oh yeah. I almost forgot. We need Vol Caustic Arrow. Now that's pretty much everything. All the other gear are pretty basic magic find items that cost a couple of Chaos Orb and I won't dwell on them for long. I spent just over two divine orbs on all my gear and that sounds like the minimum budget to start an MF with to me. 
What did I end up with? 73% increased quantity of items found. 167% increased rarity of items found. And that's without taking into account our flasks, and with them these numbers will be even higher. We also have good resistances, armor, and some evasion. In addition, we have elemental ailment immunity and even positive chaos res. But enough of the theory, let's go to the practice and see what this character can do. But this will not be a serious MF because we need to level up our character, so my main goal is the speed farming experience and what I find in the process will be a nice bonus. First valuable loot, not bad for a start. Enlighten, some more currency. Unbelievable. This must be some kind of joke, because this is the second apothecary I've found on the yellow map. Maybe I should go out and buy a lottery ticket. Well, I got the levels I needed and leveled up my character, and now I can move on to the basic magic find. But before that, a little showcase of what I found. I won't show you all the loot, just the more or less valuable stuff I found over 30 maps. If you don't count drop the apothecary, that's a pretty sad loot. But on the other hand, we didn't even really start our MF so that can be seen as a nice bonus, which we got in addition to the experience. Alright, let's sell this loot and improve our gear. First, we buy two extra clusters, one large one with unholy grace, unwaveringly evil and wicked Paul, and one medium cluster with brood for potency and flow of life. We'll also need a level 3 in power. Oh, and Satima's touch with despair on hit. Wow, those are so cheap. If I knew their price, I'd add them to the starter version. Even though our scuff bow did the job and wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, it needs to be replaced as soon as possible. I found this bad boy. Not the best base for us, but he has a very nice crucible tree with frenzy charges on kill, pierce support and more projectiles for caustic arrow. So let's just say I spent a couple more hours in Crimson Prison and farmed five divine orbs to buy this item. Well now we're definitely ready for a more serious magic find, but before I get back to Crimson Prison, a few words about my Atlas Tree and Scarabs that I'll be using. My Atlas Tree looks like this. I am using Wandering Path and have focused on the following mechanics, Legion, Breach, Abyss, and Delirium. These mechanics spawn a large number of extra monsters. And the more monsters, the more loot and the better chance we have of finding something of high value. As for Scarabs, I use Rusted Breach, Polished Reliquary, Polished Divination, Polished Abyss. I didn't use Sextants. And the cost per map I ended up with was about 12 Chaos Orb, which is pretty budget friendly for MF. I completed 50 tier 11 Crimson Temple maps. I understand that this isn't the most reliable statistic, but for now it is, and maybe in the next video I'll do another run on 50 to 100 maps. This is what I ended up with. Wow, that's a mini loot goblin, and I thought they are no longer in the game. Another one. Fantastic. That's why I love Legion. And here comes the first valuable card. Another one. Awesome. No apothecary this time. Unlucky. Like I said earlier, I completed 50 maps and spent a little over 2.5 divine orbs on them. I ended up with a loot like this. As always I show only the most valuable, because I'm not interested in quad tabs with useless loot, which we will never sell, because they have no real value. Excellence shows an income of almost 10 divine orbs, but in fact it's more. Because it does not take into account a couple of clusters and items with a good corrupted implicit. As a result we ended up with about 13 divine orbs, and if you subtract our expenses, the final profit is 10.5 divine orbs. I spent 3.5 hours on 50 maps, which gives us about 3 divine orbs per hour. And frankly, that's not the best income per hour. 
But this is just the beginning of our journey and we have a lot ahead of us and I think we can easily improve these numbers. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this video series. Also I will be very grateful to you for likes, comments and subscriptions. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.